Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at accessing files on Google Drive. So it's all great that you can store all your files on Google Drive, but once they're on there, how do you access them in the most effective ways? There are a number of options. Obviously, you can just go into your My Drive or your shared drives and hopefully you can find in your files and folders the files you're looking for. If you can't, there are some other options. First of all, I want to look at is priority. So in priority, first of all, it gives you some quick access ideas for most recently accessed files, but you can also create workspaces and workspaces are groups. So if I create one here, and then I can add files. So this means files that maybe aren't all in the same folder, but I could say I want to select that file and that file and insert them and they can all be in the same workspace and easily accessed here. So this is great if you're doing a project where files are scattered around different locations. I mentioned quick access. If I go into my drive, my quick access is turned off here. But if I go into settings, scroll down and it's here under suggestions. If I can turn that on and my quick access appears across the top. So again, these are generally files you access a lot or in some way that Google AI has picked up that you might need at this time. And as I showed you, you can turn this on and off in settings. If you do have a file you access regularly, you can star it. So if I click and right click on my file, I can choose to add a star. You can do the same for folders as well. And then if I click on the start option on the left hand side, I can then see my starred files. So again, this is a great way of accessing files you access regularly. Another way I personally do this as well is if I open up a file and it's one I access regularly, I then actually create it as a bookmark on my Chrome browser. So I can add that as a bookmark and that could appear in my folders or on my bookmarks bar for easy access as well. So that means I don't even have to go into Google Drive to access that file. You've also got the recent option. So this is great if you've worked on a file recently but can't remember where it might be located or something like that, you can go and just go into your recent and find it there. Just so you're aware, if you do click on a file you can't find, it does tell you the path of that file down the bottom. So it's just a single click and then find the path. The last way we're going to do it is for search. So obviously you can put in a word here. So I'm going to put in quiz, for example, and that will bring up any files I've got access to that have that word in. I've got my advanced search options here though, and I can type in a specific type. So I might want a Google form. Who's it owned by? I can be owned by me, not owned by me, or a specific person. If it's a specific person, I need to put in their email address there. Where is it located at the moment? It's anywhere, but if I know it's in bin or starred, then I can do that as well. Again, if I know it's something I've worked on recently, I can search based on the date modified. And then I've got my options for specific item names, includes words, who it's shared with maybe, and whether it's got suggestions or action items connected to it. So once I do this, I can click my search, in this case, nothing's come up. I can refine my search, maybe. And then hopefully this and the other tips will help you access the files you're looking for in Google Drive. One last tip to end with, though. If you aren't even in Google Drive, you can click in the Omnibar and do a search for a file there. If it's a file you've been using recently, it should appear very similar to a quick access. And so you can search and find your files within there, in the Omnibar, without even having to go into your Google Drive.